So this is your first fight up in Edmonton, is it? I like your hair that length better. Is this the tail length now? No. Yeah, it's a little longer. It's longer now. And it, that has more shape to it. Oh, oh. This one looks like trouble. <laughs> he looks like a professional. <laughs> we are both professionals. Okay. So have you actually got professional status then? I'm a professional. You are a professional then? <laughs> Officially. Officially. You're the blue corner? I thought you'd have blue shorts on. Yay! <laughs> oh, he's a little short fella. Solid though. Sexy Susan. Look at you up in your tippy toes. In the ropes, eh? Yeah, I got tangled up. <laughs> yeah. Good lord, I think he did that intentional. Did you bring your knee up to try and get him in the face then? Oh Jesus. Somebody shouted give him an elbow so he did. And was that an elbow to the kidneys there, that last yeah, one? I don't think so. Didn't this at all. Now, in a position like that, are you capable of flipping them? That's, what I, that's just what I'm trying to do. I know, that's, I can tell that's what you're trying, but is it possible? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, yay, Paul. Oh, that's it? that's it? Oh. So when you said an elbow extent, is that when it bends the wrong way? Yeah, that way. That'd be painful, was it? <laughs> boom Boom Boyd, is that it? But your fighting name is Paul Boom Boom Boyd, wasn't it? Yes. Which is too bad. <laughs> why, why is that too bad? Boom Boom just sounds like such a sissy name, I think. You look a little heavier, this one. I am. You are heavier. I'm almost 10 pounds heavier. Yeah. Actually. You notice that? Yeah. It looks more muscular. And you actually get paid to do this? I didn't know that either. How much money? <laughs> Not much. First of all, I got a It's to pay for your medical bills <laughs> one, th one thing and you always go right at it yeah. you don't waste any time And look at the blood on the canvas. You feel good about that. Is he bleeding at the back of his head? What do you think? What do I think? Brutal. I, I don't like any... These contact sports that you just keep beating people up, it's... not normal. <laughs> 
I, it is normal, though. It's not. There's, there's been, something vicious about it. Yeah, but there's something vicious in the human mind. There's been sports like this since the dawn of time. I know, it's I hate boxing thing. too. I know it's the same. No, I'm not arguing with you, but I don't. I think there's something just primeval about it. And it's <laughs> I think it's that's not the caring though. about the other person. Well, the, I mean, it's not like those guys who stepped in there didn't, didn't know, know what might happen. And that, that same exactly. goes for me. That's I true. I, I know. You, could, you can be on, on the bottom nobody, getting the elbows. Right. And I was face. at one point. Yeah. Nobody forced me to go in there. No. I I just don't understand that myself. I've seen it before, and, and you know, the only thing, and maybe it's a male thing, but uh, as soon as I see you fighting, I tense up. Like, you know, I, want I to think fight. it must be. I think it's something that you, you men are a well, bit... That's I need you to, to get hurt, but I do the same thing. I, I get... Yeah, see, fight, so. part of me was thinking, okay, you know, you're on top, you're getting the better of the other guy, which, yeah, I'm pleased about that. But if you were on the bottom, receiving that, I would be having what a fit. Well, then, so is, <laughs> I'd be is your problem with it then, dirty that brute. Just, just that it's me? <laughs> no, yeah. I don't think, I just don't like it. I don't like watching boxing either. When somebody's bleeding and staggering about and you can still keep punching them in the face, I, do, I just the, don't understand that. It's <laughs> inhuman. It's, it's been six months now since I last stepped into the ring with Josh Mahan. Um, I spent the night afterwards actually drinking with him. He was a nice guy. Uh, and that's really caused me some problems as far as stepping back into the ring. A few months later, I was actually supposed to fight his brother, um, but it didn't work out for whatever reason. So, I'm still training at Knuckles and teaching occasionally, but there's some certain reasons I've been staying out of the ring. The pay isn't great. Uh, you have to miss days of work, and that just some isn't something I could do right now. And I'm just not a mean person. I have some physical gifts that some people maybe don't have, but you know, it's only a matter of time until I meet somebody in the ring who has the same physical gifts or more gifts and is much more mean than I am. Um, you know, aggression is something that really pays dividends in, in the ring when you're fighting professionally. So I haven't fought again. Max has asked me. Um, I'm thinking about it, but from now on I'll just be training and, you know, continuing to enjoy the sport from the sidelines. Uh, unless something drastically changes in my life, I won't, don't think I'll be stepping into the ring again. But I do love mixed martial arts. Yes. Yes. No.